Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to take a look at the Skiveton phase from the Frostvault dungeon in the hard mode. So we'll explain how it works and how you successfully can finish it. I do have a full guide on my website where I also show this screenshot, link in the description below. Now very important, once you go down you have to basically clear four shock conveyors. Once you have done that, you will get teleported back. Now, how do you do that? When we look at this map, basically what you see is there's four routes, one, two, three, four. Now, number one and number two, you want to go with the full group. So all four people together, because you have to go to the shock conveyor and then go back to the middle, go to the second shock conveyor, go back to the middle. We chose one and two first because the conveyors are usually closer. Now what happens, what is very important, number three and four, because most likely you will run out of time, you want to split up. Now why is that a good idea? Because if you split up, you only need to go to the shock conveyor deactivate it and then you can teleport back already you don't need to go back to the middle so you only need to go one way which is very nice and the important thing about this is you want one damage dealer tank one damage dealer and the healer that go together because the tanks and the the tank and the healer have their ultimate like basically one shots the shock conveyors the dds don't have that option so you need to split up like accordingly very important i do list all the skills of the skivatons in the frostwall guide on my website so i highly recommend checking it out make sure that the player that does the call outs has the crown very important so everybody knows who to follow keep in mind that client side versus server side is always very decent so you really have to make sure to stack on top of each other before you activate the speed buff before you activate the heal Otherwise, not everyone might get the the buffs, which will be a problem. So again, that is why it is important that one player does all the callouts. Now, the damage dealers have to get rid of the spiders. So you have this frost mine that basically freezes them. And then you can use the, the red ball, which then one shots them. If the spiders are not frozen, they will take reduced damage. So you cannot one shot them basically. Now the shock blades, try not to stand too close to them because they will deal damage. It is not that much, but do not try to face tank those things. In case a Skivaton dies, all four Skivatons have a res ability on the second ability bar. Before each fire, make sure to stop, group up. Once the fire is done, give the speed buff and speed through it. I have marked all the fires on the map as well on the website. I think in this run we kind of panicked a little bit and we went to the wrong way first. But again, it doesn't really matter that much. The most important thing is that the first two shock conveyors, you want to go all four together. And then the last two you want to split up. So now here we basically get back to the middle. Everybody recharges their ultimate. Very important, especially the tank and the healer. And then we split up in a group of two. Now you just have to remember that you only have one speed buff per group. And the tank group only has a shield. And the healer group only has the heal. But again... It will be enough because you only need to get to the shock conveyor and you don't need to go back to the middle. That's already it. On the live server, you only have to do one uh, Skivaton phase. It used to be two on the PTS, but I think the boss fight was overall too long, so they reduced it to one. So be happy about that, I guess. Anyway, that's already it. Please make sure to hit that sexy like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.